Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Lori and I am a full-time reseller in the middle of liquidating almost the entire contents of my inventory. I've been a reseller for over six years. I have sold over 10,000 items, over 7,000 on Poshmark and the remainder on eBay and whatnot. I am just desperate to start over. There are so many decisions about reselling and items that I would buy that are different now than they were in 2018 when I started this business. Yet I still have inventory from 2018 when I started this business. So I am going through all of my inventory and I am liquidating. I started by offering 30% off all pre-owned items in my closet. Then last week I went to 40% off. Pretty soon I'm going to be putting all of my pre-owned clothing, shoes, and accessories at 50% off. And we're gonna talk about what we're gonna do after that point. So the first thing I'm gonna do is bring you through some of the sales that have happened this week. After we go through all the sales, I'm going to describe how I'm running my sale in detail because I realized based on your comments and feedback, thank you, I never really explained how I'm implementing this. So I'm gonna show you how I'm running my sale and then I'm going to talk a little bit about my numbers at the end. So be sure to stay tuned. I'll put some timestamps below so you can jump around. If you don't wanna see the sales, if you just wanna see the results, you can jump ahead and all that fun stuff. Thank you so much. Be sure to subscribe if you wanna follow along this journey. I anticipate this is going to be going on for the better part of 2024 and I plan on starting 2025 with a fresh new business. I'm sorry for the echoing in this room. I feel like I've cleaned out a few things in here and the echo's been bad in the audio, so my apologies. All right, let's go check out the sales. Good morning. I just kicked off my 40% off sale with the release of last night's video. This offer actually came through on eBay. It's for a Talbot sweater that was new with tag. Um, funny enough, I think the buyer sent me a $22 offer which I ended up accepting and then they came back with a $25 offer <laughs> and I think I accepted the $22 offer um, anyways that was about 50% off on this but I've had this Talbot's sweater for some time um, so this is an eBay sale okay I just looked at this next sale and I'm realizing I definitely lost money on these I forgot that I had bought these for Rocco on Amazon and he needed a 31 inch waist, not a 30. But I think I paid like 50 bucks for these or something absurd. And I took a $17 offer. I just wasn't thinking, I don't know. I was thinking Dockers, not Dickies. <laughs> When I looked at this, yeah, definitely, definitely lost a fair amount on these. I think I missed my window to return them to Amazon. This was a big L. All right, just accepted an offer um, for a bundle with these Sorel boots. I swear Sorels just don't move like they used to, um, but these are great. I love the Joan of Arctic boots. I had these listed at 115 and my buyer put these as well as a uh, Jessica McClintock scarf in a bundle and offered me $80, which I accepted. I'm looking at the bottom of these. It looks like I paid $10 at Goodwill for these. Okay, this next bundle was a six piece item bundle that sold for $219. There were a couple new items in this bundle. This was also a very loyal repeat customer um, and she paired a couple of the newer items or new with tag items with items that were very low cost to me. So I was able to accept her offer. This is the Burnt Caramel Lululemon bag. I bought a bunch of these when these were the hottest thing. I have a couple left. I have them priced definitely high because I think these are some of the rarer colors, um, but that is part of the bundle. Lumpy, are you hiding again? What are you doing? <laughs> How are you gonna get out? What's your plan? He entered over here and he went back. You coming out? Come on. You caught yourself. Okay. Did you get an old golf ball back there? What is that? You found some price tags, huh? You're worth more than $12.99. The other item in here that was a retail arbitrage item is this camo jacket from Anthropology. I actually bought a few of these. Um, I, I want to say I paid like $45 or $50. Yeah, I think $89 and then they were half off. This is a size large. I kept one of these for myself, which I really love. And I've been holding out on these jackets for a while. They are adorable. It's like a blush and army green 
camo jacket by Anthropology. So I had these priced at $99. I have been receiving offers on these jackets for literally years. Time to let them go. This was a very fair offer for the amount of time that this has been in my closet. New with tag. So my buyer got these two brand new items and then I will show you the other items that were pre-owned. This was a newer listing on a Stella and Dot camo bag. That was mine. Um, I used to work with somebody who was a Stella and Dot rep, so I had quite a few parties, bought a lot of stuff, got some stuff free, like for being the hostess. And this was my own personal collection. I had this priced at $79. It's a really cute bag and that is also part of this bundle. I decided to put the contents of the bundle in the bag just so I can carry it upstairs. But isn't that a cute liner? The floral pattern liner with the camo on the outside. It's really cute. Next up is a three-piece bundle that sold for $80. And it included this beautiful Peruvian connection sweater that is a recent pickup. It's a linen blend. I always pick up Peruvian connection when it's in great condition uh, because it's just such a beautiful brand, high quality. I don't believe I have anything currently besides this in my stock so they tend to sell out also there is a J Jill sweater in this bundle which I think might be right here yep I think this is J Jill I had bought this cardigan for myself and then I wasn't wearing it so I decided to sell it I had this listed for $34 last up she got a Y2K hat that I'm going to have to hunt through here to find so I'm gonna have to put my camera down this is so classic Y2K, Britney Spears vibes, uh, the brand LEI, very classic of the time. So that's that three-piece bundle for $80. I decided to move things upstairs uh, because my pile was getting very high. And while I was pulling sales, somebody put together this shoe bundle that was $75 and they offered me 45 and I accepted. Driving shoes, aren't they gorgeous? These are like brand new. And then these are your Easy Spirit little pumps. So that was in a bundle. Also, this order came through while I was pulling orders on eBay. This is a Talbot's new with tag performance skort. I got a $25 offer on that, which I accepted. This was for a new with tag Tommy Bahama shirt. This may have been Rocco's or something. Um, I think it was ours, but that I accepted a $35 offer on. This is a super dry sweatshirt. I got a $25 offer on that on eBay. We talked about my loss on the Dickies. This was a bundle that came through for one of my very loyal customers. Uh, this is Vineyard Vines. I got this on Nantucket Island when I was shopping with Angie. Um, and then these spanks are really cool. They're wide leg denim spank stretch. This queen t-shirt and this little elephant mug. So cute. I love that bundle. I think that was $80. And then this uh, was a moth sweater and this Athleta sweatshirt. And I got an offer for $58 on that. So I'm going to go ahead and package these up because I do have a shipment pickup with USPS. Tina has the day off, so I'm gonna get busy. Lumpy does not like to eat his food over where it's kept. So when I want him to eat, I have to bring his food close to me so he'll eat. So he's eating and I am going to print my labels and then we will chat a little bit. It's Sunday and Jay and I are getting ready to now paint Rocco's room. This JBL Clip 3 Angelina has this little portable speaker and it's awesome. So Jay and I just picked one up from Amazon. I'll leave a link here on the screen for you because I'm testing out my YouTube affiliate stuff. So I may receive some affiliate money from this if you click on it, but it's this cool feature now that if I showcase something, you just click on the screen. So Jay and I are listening to Jane Eyre on audio and um, it's been really fun. So we thought that would be fun to listen to while we paint. I know we're weird now, we're old. One of the projects we are working on is painting Rocco's room over. These were all of the holes that were in his room. Isn't it crazy? And when we bought this house 18 years ago, all of the kids had these borders in the center. I think this one was like a sporty one. And then at some point we painted them a solid color when we painted the kids' rooms. But they're so stuck on that if you peel, if you try to peel it off, it just makes more of a mess. So what we had to do 
in both Anthony and Angelina's room was kind of do the putty over it. And then when we um, sand it down, it smooths it out. It's a little sad taking down some of Rocco's memories. This is when he went to Cooperstown the summer before eighth grade and they collected all these pins with all the other towns. He was the happiest. And I got him this banner because he was born in 2004 when the Red Sox broke the curse. Right, Lumford? And now we have ordered both Anthony and Rocco larger beds. So that was one of the things that prompted this. So we have to take all this stuff out. His room is on the back side of the house. So it gets really um, dark over here. So this is our weekend project. Here's Lumpy when we're... <laughs> it's okay, honey. You can't come in here while we're painting. <laughs> Do you see him with his paw up? He's so funny. Yeah, right. I think that's better than closing the door though. Yeah, no, definitely. Okay, so Jay is working on this wall. We can kind of still see where the border was. It's just the first coat. It's definitely gonna require more, but it's looking so much better for reference. I see that little face, Lumford. Hi, Lumpy. Okay, this is Rocco's room. Maybe I should turn a light on here. Um, it's really quiet right now. This is not the reveal I had hoped for because um, I ordered this comforter off of Amazon. It's by a company called Bedshore and I need to steam it, but I do like the look of it. This is the khaki. I think I'm gonna put this in Anthony's room because his room is brown. I took this out of Anthony's room too. This is actually really nice. I got the oversized queen and then it comes with two pillowcases, but the pillowcases are for a king size pillow. Um, and it's very lightweight and cottony. I just need to steam it, but I'm not gonna get very far with <laughs> Mr. Lumpy on there. We are just gonna put a simple curtain rod up there with some shears here. We're gonna get an end table and we're gonna take the bed frame from Anthony's room and put it in here. So I think I'm gonna go with like a, I don't know, maybe an ivory comforter because now the walls are pulling a little bit uh, like a purpley color. I think the lighting is throwing everything off. If I turn this off, how do we do? Let me shut the lights out. <laughs> oh, now it just looks dark. Anyways, very, very peaceful. We just have a simple bureau in here and I'm still gonna clean out Rocco's closet, but what a transformation. I had originally picked out this carpet, but it's a Berber, so I think I'm going to go back and get something plush for in here. So don't pay attention to the decor, but see how peaceful these walls are and how happy Mr. Lumpy is. Hello, hello everybody. It is Monday, September 22nd, 23rd, and I have a table full of sales heading out. I'm going to discuss my sale in detail at the end of this video, but for the first part of this, I've just been sharing with you sales um, as they come in and as it's convenient for me to share. It's been quite a week. Let me turn the camera around and show you what we've got. All right, I'm probably not gonna pop prices up on the screen because I wrote them down here. I'm just going to give you a sampling. These are mostly 40% off bundles or items. I also gave discounted shipping to most of them. Sometimes people would counter so they would lose the discounted shipping because that's just the way Poshmark works. But let's start over here. This is a retail arbitrage set, a really pretty um, top and bottom. It's very mermaid feeling. I had it listed at $100 and this person offered me 50. I checked comps, this was a very fair offer. So I accepted, it was new without tag. This was Angelina's tank. Um, this was originally at $32. It's the ebb and flow tank from Lululemon. I sold the matching jacket to it earlier in the week. There were a couple marks. So when I looked in at the $15 offer, I accepted. You really, you really can't see anything here. Um, but Tina had noted a couple marks um, that I'm sure she could see on the under the lights. So just because there were just a couple flaws, I accepted. Um, this is a new lace top that I got from Zara. Lumpy, get away from Mickey Mouse. No, no, no. This is a lace top that I just recently picked up on style from um, Zara. I think it's so cool. I got a $19 offer and accepted. This is a Cole Haan leather belt that sold for $16. These Stronghold jeans I've had for a bit. I took a chance on this brand. I'd never heard of it. The retail on these uh, is pretty high. 
but this was a 50% offer that I accepted. These were a full price sale and these were in inventory, but unlisted, I believe. There was something with these. We relisted them. They sold for full asking price on eBay for $40. I still have to weigh those and get those out. This is a bundle right here. This is a Laura Ashley vintage skirt that was a return. This is a garnet hill dress. I can't remember what this sold for. I don't have my my tag for those. It's throwing me off. Maybe $40 for the set or $48 for the set. This is a bundle of four items. We're still looking for this Laura Urbaniti silk top, but it's a Mac Studio blouse, a Daniel Rain blouse that was new, and um, a Club Monaco switch, sweater. So that bundle sold for $100. we are still on the hunt for that shirt. This is a Disney bundle that is going out to a another reseller who restores Disney items. She sent me a really nice message, and I think she has uh, an exclusive exclusively Disney shop, which I think is really cool. I always think it's fun when people specialize in stuff. These are a pair of American Girl pajamas for women that I bought a bunch of on a huge buyout a while ago. I think they cost me $2. They sold for 12. This is a bundle to Christine. She is a repeat customer. She got the beautiful um, Lucky Brand vintage sweater which received so much attention when I first bought it. A Margaret O'Leary sweater, some Madewell laces, retail arbitrage that I bought, and this Swix hat. Oh, this Erin of Ireland sweater that I just bought last week, a Madewell scarf, and some J. Crew beautiful loafers. That was a $90 bundle. This right here is a beautiful needlepoint vintage bag that sold for $22, but the handles are wooden, and I just want to make sure um, that it's secure. I don't, I'm, I want to find a box, is what I'm trying to say. And usually my medium flat rate boxes are key. And I ran out of them because I've had so many things that have been selling. So that is the, the lay of the land. We've also finished Rocco's room. We painted it yesterday. So I'm excited to catch you up on sale results. Thank you to everyone who has participated in this sale. It's been so exciting to me to just see things move. And it's been so completely liberating to just let it go, let things go. There have definitely been some offers where I'm like, oh, that feels so low. And then I just press accept and it feels so good. I do have limits. I did mention in a previous video that if you're sending super aggressive offers, I'm probably not going to reply right away, or I'm going to reply with whatever my current sale is. If you're loading bundles up with new with tag items, they're not part of the total liquidation. In some cases, they will be if they've been in my inventory for a long time, or if they're not a brand that sells very well for me. I'm taking new with tag items on a individual basis, but I'm not kidding. I've seen like $500 bundles put together and then someone will offer me $65. So some of the offers have been comical. And honestly, in those cases, I would rather donate the items than sell them at such a loss. But most of you have been so incredible sending me fair offers and I really, really appreciate it. This has been a wonderful start to this liquidation. So let's talk about how I'm running the sale because that has been something that a lot of people have asked about with good reason because I haven't really explained it. So this is not a sponsored video, but I do use a service called Posture VA. It's a Chrome extension and that is something that automatically sends out offers. You pay a monthly fee. I, I think it's between, I don't know, I think when I signed up it was like $12 a month. It might be up to like $20 a month, but basically you can tell this service to send offers out. So in this past week when I was at 40% off, Anybody who had liked an item in my closet, I sent them an offer of 40% off only if it was a pre-owned item. You can do exclusions. You know, I can say send 20% offers with discounted shipping to everyone in my closet who has liked an item on items that are 100 days old or more. You can really refine it and filter it down to how you want to present your offers, which is really convenient for someone like me who's doing this kind of tiered liquidation where I started with 30% and then I'm going to 40. This week or in the upcoming week, I'm going to go down to 50% off 
off pre-owned items and then they won't be sending offers on any new with tag items because I can exclude that when I'm filtering down things. Typically when I do these type of sales, I will exclude the first 90 days. So if I've listed it within 90 days, I don't want to send an offer of 50% off because that's a relatively new item considering that some of the items in my closet are six years old. In this case, when I'm running my sale now, it's like total liquidation. If I listed something yesterday, I'm including it in the sale for the most part. In this particular week, I sent out 40% offer. So this is in no way affiliated with Poshmark. It's a separate service called Posher VA. I will leave a link in the description if you wanna sign up. I, I am part of their affiliate program. I don't talk about it all the time. So I will, will receive a little bit of like a credit. I don't even know how much if you sign up using my link, but it's a great service. You can auto set it to send offers out 10 minutes after somebody likes it. I don't do that. A lot of people send out immediate offers at like 10% off or 15% off. You can set it at whatever you want. I don't have that automatic feature. I probably should. Maybe I'd make more sales if I did, but you can really customize it to your own business. That is how I run my sales. And then I'll advertise here on YouTube. I've been so terrible about Instagram. I feel like I haven't shown my face on Instagram in like five months on Lori's Boston Found. And I apologize for that. I keep wanting to do real and talk to you about my sale over there and promote the sale and I've just been terrible about it. I'll also post in the YouTube um, community tab where I can just like let everybody know I'm running a sale over here. You all know that I've worked with Vendu for years now. They have something in beta that they're working on to send out offers. So I've been using Posture VA for so long but I may adopt that down the line when it becomes something I feel comfortable with. And then all of my stuff will be on Vendu, but Posh VA has been an A+. So while this sale applies to all of my pre-owned clothing items and handbags and shoes and boots and things like that, even my hard goods, I think some of the confusion is coming in through Buyers like you, viewers who've been amazing, they're like, well, how do I get the sale? The best way to let me know that you're coming from YouTube is to create a bundle in Poshmark. Even if you just want one item, add it to the bundle. There's a little shopping bag with a plus sign. You can add it to your bundle. And then in the comments, just leave me a comment. Just be like liquidation sale and just let me know, or I'm from YouTube. And then that way I know that you're aware of the sale. And even if it's a newer item, I'm still going to give you that offer. If it's a random person who likes things, I'm still really excited about full price sales. Yesterday on Poshmark, I sold a pair of jeans for $88 and I paid like $5 for them at Goodwill just a couple weeks ago. The brand is called APC. And I was like, doing a little dance when that sale came through because recently I've just been doing all like heavily discounted items. So I'm not opposed to a full price sale or a 20% off offer. I love those. And I'm still getting a lot of those over on eBay. I'm really running the sale on Poshmark and I know it's super easy, I've heard, to run a sale over on eBay. Shipping is just super easy on Poshmark. It's a flat fee. It's just my comfort zone. But certainly if you are an eBay shopper, feel free to put together some items that you would like to purchase and just send me a message. Let me know you're from YouTube and then I will honor the sale price for you. If I think of any other details about the sale, I will talk about it. But the rest of this video, I am going to spend time talking to you about my numbers, which have been so exciting. To me, I'm very excited about them. So when I did my video that I'm liquidating everything and starting over, I had said that last year when I started doing my Slow Fashion Friday videos, that's a whole playlist where I was going through my house and cleaning out the clutter in my life and also a little bit in my business. I was trying. What was happening was I was selling off items in my house and that was adding to the numbers in my business. So my goal was to do this last year. I ended up going through my house and getting rid of a lot of clutter in my home, but my business ended up being the recipient of stuff that I didn't wanna donate, didn't wanna throw out, and I knew I could make some money. I didn't get to the inventory numbers that I had hoped to, and I think I stated this time last year when I started cleaning my house out, I was at 1,625-ish units available for sale. This year, when I started this liquidation, I was at 1,577. It was like a 30 item difference in a year. That's all I had managed to get my inventory down. So I was feeling very discouraged, even though I had donated over a thousand items and sold a lot of items 
from my closet, I was also selling items that I was finding around the house. So I was spending less money out at the thrift stores, but I was still taking in a lot of inventory from my house, which is great, but it didn't help me get my inventory down. Now, most of my house is cleaned out with the exception of my own personal closet. So I started here at 1,577. As of today, September 24th, it is Tuesday, I have 1,381 items in my Poshmark closet. So that's a difference of 196 items from when I started 13 days ago. Before you get too excited, I do wanna give a little disclaimer here. As many of you know, I have hundreds and hundreds of American Girl items from when I worked there and collected it. I feel like it was clouding my ease of letting go by having so many American Girl items for sale on Poshmark. I had 55 items from American Girl that were still on Poshmark. I delisted them all and just moved everything over to eBay. So when I'm giving you these numbers, they don't include American Girl. I just wanted to keep things separate because I kept looping in all of my American Girl stuff, which largely had nothing to do with my reselling business until last year. And because I kept adding American Girl stuff from my personal collection and also was having a hard time letting go of them at liquidation prices. It was messing up the whole ecosystem of my sale. So I decided to just put those over to eBay, let them be there for a while and really focus on the 75 stuffed bins of clothing that I have in my basement. That is what's cluttering stuff. The American Girl stuff is in a closet in the basement, a closet upstairs in my room. It was there before I started reselling and I'm sure a portion of it will be there for years to come. I do want to sell a lot of that stuff too, but I just don't want that to be part of the liquidation because it was it was messing with my brain. So I'm just keeping it clean this way. So I moved some items over, so that's where some of the lower number comes in. Since I launched my sale on September 11th, I've sold 152 items on Poshmark. 152 items in less than two weeks. I'm gonna give you some other numbers that are crazy. So, so far this month on Poshmark, I've sold 166 items, which means on September 11th, I had only sold 13 items before I started the sale. So since the sale started, I've sold 152 items. On eBay, I've had 23 sales since the sale started. So my earnings on eBay this month so far are $1,012.10. My total sales, not my profit, not fees. These are just my sales. And right now so far on Poshmark, my sales total $4,287.03. If you take away the first 11 days or first 10 days of the month, because I didn't start my sale, the sales that I've made since I started my liquidation, $3,734.03. So if we add that to my eBay numbers, we are at $4,746.13 since the sales started. And just to give you a glimpse of what sales have been like for me, if we look at current sales this month, you can see that in the month of August on Poshmark, I only did $1,008 in sales. In the month of August, on eBay, I did $1,657 in change. I didn't even break 3,000 with the two combined platforms last month. So last month was actually my lowest month of the year. March was my best month until this month on Poshmark where I did $2,536. I was consistently making over $4,000 in sales just on Poshmark alone in previous years. So Poshmark has totally changed for me Maybe I'm not listing as much. Maybe I'm not listing as good of items anymore, but something has definitely changed on Poshmark. eBay has obviously been picking up the slack in some cases, but this month I'm on my way to doing double what I did um, in any previous month of the year. Another fun stat that was actually pretty refreshing to me is I was looking at my average sales price this month since I'm offering so many deep discounts. If you look at the entire month, so that also includes the first 10 days. I've sold $4,287 on Poshmark divided by 166 items sold so far this month. My average selling price is still $25.83. That's not bad. I don't know what I was expecting. And obviously 
that number is going to go down as I go deeper into this sale. But this has been really encouraging for me. I have not had inventory under 1,400 items in probably three years. I worked this entire year to try to get to under 1,000 and I ended up at 1,577 items in my inventory. So this sale is working. Thank you so much to people who are participating in the sale. I think it's going to become tricky for me when I get to the point where I'm like, ooh, do I really wanna offer 70% off all these items? And the short answer is I think I'm going to, but if I get to a point where I'm feeling really uncomfortable with like letting things go for such a small amount, I might do something creative like do Poshmark Lives and see how that goes or do something on whatnot. I've also given some thought to doing creative bundles like when I get really deep into the sale, I have to look at these items. Are they worth struggling over? Should I just let them go? Should I pull them and donate them? I feel like when my closet gets down to the point where I'm gonna have to sell things for under $10, is it worth it to me to ship all that, pay Tina to come and pack everything up and ship it? Or am I better off just bringing all those things to a consignment store, dropping it off in one day and just getting what I get for it and then starting over? So I will definitely be keeping you updated as things go. This is uncharted territory for me, so I know I'm going to you know, pivot at times when things get to a lower amount. One of my thoughts was to maybe offer bundle boxes. So for example, I could say something like, pick four items for $30, and then at least it's worth it to bundle up four items and then ship it out. So even though I'm selling items for less than $10, it's not like a $7 package, a $4 package. It's like, okay, well, I'm gonna charge $35. People are gonna get four or five items and I'm moving that much inventory at once. I can get a bunch of boxes, set them all up in advance and boom, 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 boom. We can be simple with the packaging. I can make it worth it. I think it's going to be hard for me when it gets down to like, like I said, under $10 and we're packaging each thing individually. I think at that point, it would be more worth it for me to do consignment or just donate a lot of these items. But so far, it's been really exciting. I'm shooting for 100 items a week. That's my goal, to sell 100 items a week between both platforms. So I'm not quite there yet, but it's also the beginning. You know, We've only done 30 and 40%. I've let a lot of stuff go at 50 and sometimes 60, depending on the items. I also get the impression that a lot of people may be creating bundles of things that they're interested in and they're just waiting for the word for me to say okay now we're 50% off and then they'll jump on the sale and I think that's actually a smart thing to do I'm probably gonna still send you offers if you're creating bundles but you can decline but I think that might be something certain people are doing the longer you wait the more likely it is that some of the hotter items will be gone but that's okay there's still 1300 items that you can choose from in my closet so hopefully there is something for everyone. I hope that helps explain where I'm at with the sale. I'm sorry for the shadows and the echoing in this room. I think I need to start filming upstairs where there's a carpet. It's just a much better sound up there. So my apologies. So if you've made it this far, I will let you know that 50% off is starting when this video is released. So feel free to bundle your items. Let me know you're from YouTube and then I'll send you a 50% offer. If people bundle and I don't know they're from YouTube and they have some really hot items in there, I might sneak in a 30% offer and see what they think or maybe 40 or 45. But if I know you're from YouTube and you're part of my liquidation, I will make sure you get your 50% off offer or feel free to send me a 50% offer. If you send me a 75% off offer, you're gonna be backburnered for a while and I'm gonna deal with the people who are on par with where I'm at with the sale first. They will take priority, but I appreciate everybody who's participating. I also want to say a special thank you to Elizabeth and Kate, two people whose bundles were incomplete because we couldn't find one item and another item had sold on eBay in 2022 before Vendu had the auto delist and relist feature and I never delisted it from Poshmark. They were both so wonderful and they picked two other items from the inventory. I know they were disappointed. They didn't cancel the order. So thank you so much. As we get deeper into the sale, I know these issues are gonna come up. And in fact, the item that Kate picked, she picked an Athleta sweater in place of a Lululemon Iviva pullover that I just couldn't find. It's not sold anywhere. We just couldn't find it. We'll probably find it down the line. 
but um, she picked an Athleta sweater. And before I agreed to say, oh yeah, I'll include that. I wanted to make sure I had it. And then when I looked it up, I had it listed twice. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is why I'm doing this. I just need to clear it all out and start over. So thank you for your patience. There are definitely going to be hiccups all along the way in this process, I can guarantee it. <laughs> but I will always try to make good on the sale, try to give you something else, give you a deeper discount. I will try to make it right um, because I really do appreciate you all participating in the sale. And hopefully it's a win-win for all of us. Also, we picked out a rug. They came and they measured today. So we're looking at mid-November or mid-December. It's all gonna depend on how the sale is going. If I'm feeling totally overwhelmed in November, I'm gonna bump it back to the beginning of December. But come hell or high water, by Christmas, there's gonna be a new carpet in my basement. That means I am going to have to have my ducks in order and this sale is gonna to have to keep going. There's nothing quite like a deadline to keep me going and stay focused. So that's happening. And you saw the work we're doing up in Rocco's room. We are getting new rugs in the kids' room sooner than the basement. So they came and they measured everything today. We got rid of a carload of stuff from Rocco's room. We're making that like essentially like a guest bedroom. We're putting two beds in there. It's crazy to me that I can fit two beds in that room because it was such a mess. And the walls just look so clean and it's so peaceful in there. And I want that for my whole house and I want it for my business in the basement and I'm gonna get it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Be sure to subscribe if you wanna follow along this adventure with me. I appreciate you and I will talk to you in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.